Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Some few days back, the, sec the former secretary to the government of the Federation, uh, Baba Chalawa, came out boldly with strong indications and proof that say what you may, Peter Obi won the election 25th of February 2023 presidential election. Atiko Abubakar came second. And of course, Bola Ahmed Tunebu, the now president of Nigeria, came a distant third. And he said, forget what INEC said or what the tribunal said. He knows, based on independent resources that he gathered, that will be won the election. Of course, APC replied him. Felix Mark also wrote an article concerning it. They took time and to, to, you know, you know, counter all the things he said. But there's something that's telling Nigerians right now that APC have secretly, secretly reached out to him. And what they are telling him is amazing. Let's hear him as he takes us through a journey and also send a subtle warning to Phyllis Marker, the spokesperson who did the job of writing about him and what his master's quote-unquote told him in secret concerning this matter that he didn't even know about. Felix himself didn't know about. Let's let's continue. But before we go to the newspaper to find out what it is, can you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right subscribe button beside it? You will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead. And click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Well, the former secretary to the government of the Federation, SGF Babacha David Lawal, said some key allies of the president, Bola Tinubu administration, have reached out to him following his statement on Tuesday that Labour Party LP presidential candidate Peter Obi won the last presidential election. Lawa was reacting to a Tuesday night press statement by the All Progressive Congress APC, wherein his spokesman Felix Mwaka described him as a, as an incapable, or better say, as incapable of rational thought. Now, the former SGF was at the time the national vice chairman, northeast of the party. However, offered his sympathies to Mwaka saying he was doing the job of a slave. Now, describing APC as an Islamic party, which takes decisions using prayers where Moaka is not present, Lawa insisted that Obi won the last election, saying the thief knows he stole the item. According to him, all that was now left for the party is a change of name adding that even this may not take long since it already has the Kadmol Islam, Kadmol Islam, Dr. Abdullahi Ganduje as his national chairman and a Muslim as national secretary. He said that the deputy national chairman, North, who acts in the absence of the chairman, national organizing secretary, national legal advisor, and three national vice chairmen, and more, are Muslims. Now, the statement, which was titled Political Discourse, the APC reaction, and its castigation of my person reads, and I quote, I woke up this morning to a very pathetic social media trending write-up, apparently, a response to my article on the current political discourse by one Felix, allegedly of the APC. I suspect he was assigned this role because it is in the nature of psycho fans and people concerned a second class status to be assigned roles that their masters are wary of taking on. Usually, the dirty or savory jobs are contracted out to such. In the Bible, a certain Felix, after which this Felix was probably named, was a freed slave who had a reputation of cruelty as the ruler of Judea in order to please his master, the emperor Claudius, of whose mother Felix was a slave. I really do sympathize with a Christian or, is he not, who finds himself in an Islamic party and is desperate to please his masters and probably to be noticed 
when the next round of political appointments come. When we founded APC way back in 2013-2014, we envisaged it to be a national party that would carry along all the different social, political, and religious tendencies of the nation. In those days, we were careful not to sideline any of the religions or tribes of the country in the composition of membership and leadership of the party. We wanted a party that will embrace all Nigerians. It was this that informed the principle that both the national chairman and the secretary will not be of the same religion, tribe, or region. Sadly, APC has now transited into an Islamic party of Nigeria. All the members of the NWC from the north and some from the south are Muslims. They campaigned on an Islamization platform and they're striving and they're striving hard to run the government as such, but for the resistance of the other religions. All that is now left for the party is a change of name. But even this may not take long since it already has the Kadmol Islam as its national chairman and a Muslim as national secretary, the deputy national chairman, not who acts as the in the absence of the chairman, national organizing secretary, national legal advisor, and three national vice chairmen, and more are Muslims good for them. And talking of electoral value, both the national chairman and the national secretary just dramatically lost in the May election. I suspect Malam Felix didn't do well in his own constituency either. It is based on these considerations that I pity a Christian who finds himself in the position of spokesman or spokesperson of an Islamic party. Mark my words, all the critical decisions will be taken behind his back during the afternoon prayer sessions, which he will be unable to attend. As to the, uh, as to the substance of the response itself, I find it deliberately obtuse skitting around the real issues raised in my press statement statement it was empty of substance and logic a true product of a psychophantic man mind that has no capacity to understand the subtle swances underlining underlying a message delivered to a discerning audience malam felix your master's got the message loud and clear because some of them have reached out to me for dialogue on the issues raised. But in line with your lower status in the scheme of things, you are not aware that all, all the issues I raised were designed in a manner to deliver a message to a discomforted government that is populated by long-standing friends of mine who appear to have abandoned common sense and patriotism for unbridled personal goals and fields, law career, and they got the message, which you cannot. In this discourse, you are a remote outsider, so shut up. We want a Nigeria that works for all. We want a Nigeria that even psychophants can relate to and in everyone, in which everyone is free to pursue their ambitions in peace, in pursuance of prosperity and the good life. We want a Nigeria that guarantees freedom of speech for its citizens just as you and I are doing right now. If as Bola Tinubu claims he fought a bacha on the side of democracy and free speech, it is un unbecoming and unacceptable that the NBC should threaten journalists under his watch. So it is so is it indefensible to keep the EFCC chairman and CBN governor under arrest for extended periods of time without or before trial, just as it is also unacceptable that political parties are used to intimidate and harass citizens exercising their opinions in public domain. I am sure even you and the APC can relate to this. I am also sure that for their blind hatred of other Nigerians, not of their tribes or religion, even the Islamists that you serve and desperately seek to please can relate to this. 
I am sure that no Nigerian is enjoying the national shame and embarrassment we are going through as a result of these unending revelations as who or what our president actually is, or that most Nigerians cannot be sure of at least one meal a day anymore, or that we can no more attend wedding ceremonies in Imo or Zamfara State due to insecurity. Know what you may say. No. What you may say, what you may, I hold family, I hold family to my assertion that Peter Obi had the majority vote in May 23rd presidential election, that that's February 25th presidential election. That was why both INEC and APC had to go rogue in the election. And they know this fact, even if they will not admit it. After all, the thief knows who stole the item. The man dies in all who keep silent in the face of tyranny. Wale Shoyinka, you have my sympathy. This is coming from um, Baba Chalawa, uh, the former SGF, and he's really not shutting his mouth, and uh, so to speak. He's bringing the past to the present, reminding all those who fought the same Sani Abacha during his military regime that they're about to live the same thing they fought for. They're about to re- relieve that same at but this time around, with them being in the corridor of power and Nigerians being at the sidelines. Will they repeat the same thing they fought for? That's why he quoted the words of Olin Shoeka about what he did say in the past concerning this. Let's go wrap it up. Let's meet in a conversation what's your take. I can assure you this man is not back.